everyone today. Welcome back to Birkenhead War Memorial Park. My name is Anthony Gelling. I'm delighted to be bringing you this game between North Coast Tigers and Ponsonby. Ponies here in the Shaman Cup division. Round six in a Shaman Cup which so far looks like Chase the Ace. Otara Scorpions undefeated so far, five from five. However, on their tails are the Ponsonby Ponies and the North Coat Tigers, both with four wins in the bank and both with their only loss coming to Otara. However, they meet here head to head today to find out who's going to push forward. There's your team there for Ponsonby Ponies. Sasha Urelli there at fullback. He'll be one to watch. They'll be taking on your North Coast Tigers team. The home team here today. Led out by the number 11, Houston Holloway. Team's getting ready there. A few final words for the Ponsonby Ponies. As you can see, the rain in the background. So, last minute change coming in there for our Ponsonby team. Latu Tofu'u, who was wearing the 19 jersey, he's now wearing the number 10. The back row is here for Ponsonby. Dons Talangi and Clive Tuifua. They take some stopping. Fury heads to the centre of the park as our teams look ready to get underway. Here they come. Led out by their captains. Little kiss to the sky there. Bit of brotherly love exchange between the captains before we get underway. The Tigers set themselves up to receive the kickoff. Ponsonby with one last huddle here. Looking calm and relaxed, the ponies. Thank you. 
So both teams sitting in a three-way tie. Northcote Hibiscus and Ponsonby Ponies all on eight points. And here we go. It's the number six. Damon Abbey getting us underway. Bringing it off the back fence. It's a big run from the Northcote prop. Taking in a low tackle. Tione Tully at acting half here today for the Tigers. Taking in hard. Tigers ramping up, sending an early message there. William Iriwata running hard here as the Tigers get to their kick on the last, putting it in the corner. The Ponsonby winger gets brought down. They centralise now. To Samu Funga. Apologies, Samu Faguna, number 18 jersey. Let's nice tackle four. The, pons, the pony's still in their half. This is Liam Briggs. Using his forwards to get them out of here. Last tackle. They drill it deep into the corner. Albert Salakai chasing back. They let it bounce. Luckily it's knocked on. Knocked on by Ponsonby Ponies. So it'll be North Coat ball. The captain Holloway plays it. John Itali, out of acting half, plays short. Tigers work left. Up towards halfway, this is Iriwata turning it back inside. John Itali, tackle four, they go left. The ball looks to be knocked down there. So set restart on tackle four, it'll be a scrum down. See the steam coming off the breath there. It's been a big temperature drop since lunchtime. Don's Talangi there for Ponsonby with a high shot. Northcote penalty. Malu kicks it into touch. Tapped there by Nico Draj. Oof. I'm going to be standing in the way of Opini Kioa Iriwata. Tips on to Taylor Daniels. He's been running hard to start this game. Unfortunately, he coughs that ball up. Ponsonby back in position. The number seven, Dion Frazier, had act in half there. And this time it's Briggs, working it right. Damon Abbey. Abbey gets it back. And he finds Timor Williams.
Timo Williams, not to be mistaken with Duke and Williams. Wants to be now the first real shot of the game so far. Liam Briggs goes left to Solomona, the number 13 for Ponsonby. Dion Frazier's it on the left. They opt to go the other way. And much like the first game we saw here today, ooh. Be interesting what the referee calls here. I think he called no advantage on the knock on earlier. However, this could be a penalty. Maybe even some time in the bin. So the Tigers now with possession on the left-hand side. This is Kiwa. Back to Taylor Daniels. Tioni Tali. And the captain straightens things. He fights for the quick play of the ball, but an interference from the marker. Whoever they're finding their front well. The Tigers now through number six, Malu. Oi. Coming back for the original knock on. The Tigers looking very dangerous in that passage of play there. See a few shots of the crowd there. The hoodies are on. The jackets are out. Luckily I'm tucked away in the uh, commentary position. Like a Eskimo in his igloo. It's a cold day here in Birkenhead War Memorial. This is number 12, Tui Fua. Running hard, leaving a man on the ground. Damon Abbey. I look to take a shot there. However, Liam Briggs unable to. Take that pass off as number six. Similar start to the first game that we had here today. If you missed that one, it was the Ellerslie Eagles going down 30 points to 10 against the North Coat Reserves. Strong run there from the Albert Salakai, the number five for Northcote. And another one by Alan Kitson. Taylor Daniels dragged back there. He's got through a lot of work already, the big fella. He's got his head strapped up. He looks like he means business today. They appeal for the strip there. However, the referee tells them to stand up and play the ball when he can.
So Ponsonby from the scrum. Looking to find a bit of room out wide. And they keep it on the left-hand side now through Don's Talangi. Dion Frazier getting us back to the middle of the field here. We've got Damon Abbey on the right. He calls for it. Goes himself. Throws a little dummy before he's brought down by Reese Payne. Briggs. Shows, goes, taken down. Abby wants it back. Little kick off the right foot, looking for a lucky bounce. They've got one. Ooh. Duncan Williams unable to scoop that one up. However, the Ponsonby Pony's looking dangerous. So the referees awarded Ponsonby back the ball with a knock on earlier in, in that play from the Tigers. Williams feeds it back to Briggs. Frazier turning it up. Briggs dropping his man under there trying to crash over under the post this time it's Frazier he's got a man out the back goes himself cops one around the chops Ooh, he did not miss So Captain Houston Holloway there. Frazier with fantastic feet. He is a very hard man to get a hold of. Houston Holloway doing his best, however. A little off the mark with that swinging forearm. So Ponsonby have got the penalty. They've opted for the two points. So as Damon Abbey lines this one up, the boys will take a minute, grab a drink, recoup and reset. Dion Fraser... Receiving some treatment there, what looks like his left ankle, possibly knee. Flag is up there, Damon Abbey knocking over the two-point penalty. Ponsonby Ponies out in front. Here we go. It's a low flat kick from Northcote. Frazier linking up with Latu Tuafu. Plays it back to Briggs. They go left. He's got a man inside and outside. Out to the center here. That's James Talmata at left center for Ponsonby. That's Don's Talangi running hard over halfway now. Briggs onto Frazier. He drops to Afu back inside. He's wrapped up by the North Coat defense. They go right and have another shot. 
This time it's Tui Fua. Drag down, he'll play it back to Williams. Ooh. He saw a little opening there. He saw a little opening, but just seemed to run out of space. Playing what's in front of him, but unable to capitalize here. Here come Northcote off the block shape. That's number two, Jordan Hart. He's met by the Northcote defense. Here's Talakai. Running strong and finding his front. Let's tackle three. Northcote will be hoping to get to their kick. Sione Tully. It's number 15, Tay Niho on the field. So tackle four. They decide to get it out of their half. However, he's kicked it straight to the fullback there. And on play one, Ponson be a back over halfway. Damon Abbey, Duncan Williams. Williams plays it back to Briggs. They've left the man on the ground there. This is the centre with the number one on his back. They go right there. I don't think they saw that the, uh, the winger for Northcote was missing. However, he might still be missing. Briggs has a go. He's brought down. Tackle five. Frazier at acting half. Goes right. They go right again. Grub it in goal. It's dropped by the fullback. However, he manages to jump back on it and save four points. Ponsonby are adding the pressure. Ponsonby looking dangerous. They've got options left and right. Dion Frazier on the left. Damon Abbey. The number six on the right there. But now it's Ponsonby with the ball. Ten metres out. Frazier's whispering to Don's Talangi there. So a loose pass, able to be brought in again by Ponsonby. They go left through Briggs. It's number 13, Solomona. Running with options, but brought down. This is Briggs now. Hey, and he slams it down. Taufu. He was a man on a mission. He knew where he was going. He just needed the ball in his hands. Hemi McCarthy there for Northcote. He was in the right place. Anna. However, he's unable to get his uh, hands underneath the ball there. Fantastic push on his outside from Tui Fua. Keeps defenders at bay just enough for things to open up for him. So Dion Frazier looking to add the extras.
Conversion successful, 6-0 to the visitors. Here's another look from the other angle. Not much space there. I thought Houston Holloway was in a good defensive position there. However, when you're running hard, anything is possible. Back underway, Dion Frazier. Links up with Tefu'u. Oh, fantastic tackle there. The Tigers back in position. Tain Nehu scoops on that one. Sione Tali goes left. Just the fullback, McCarthy. Set up to the left here. They go to the number six. And that's the big boy out on the edge. Manages to keep hold there. I think Ponsonby trying to strip the ball. Looking a little flat-footed there in their attack. However, they settle one. He's got Neho to his right. He plays out the back. No, he plays... Scrappy play from Northcote. However, they get the offload. Two on one. He keeps hold. Ooh. Desperate tackle there from Ponsonby. The nine slips one in. Can't get out of jail. Solomona takes it dead. Northcote unlucky there. Asking some good questions. However, it's still the visitors that are ahead. Ooh, a juggling act there. The number eight, Kiowa. He reeled that one in, and he ran it back hard. This is Niho. Jeremiah now on the field. That acting half. This is Houston Holloway. The captain plays it back. Jeremiah. They go left. Now it looks like he locks the ball there and got it back. However, the referee says that a Ponsonby player touched it in between that, which deems a knock on. So the North Coast Tigers finding themselves in the Shaman Cup this year. Unable to pick up a win during the grading rounds. They were thrown into an almost pool of death with the Glenora Bears, Papakura Seagulls and Maris Saints. It was a tough, tough ask for the Tigers. Since coming to Shaman, they've lost a couple of players as well. However, there are four wins so far this year. Only the one loss to Otara. Great enthusiasm there from the Tigers' D-line. Reese Payne flying up, however, a little bit too early. Northcote visit the Ponsonby Ponies end, however, 
unable to walk away with anything. They're now back in their own half and having to defend. So Timor Williams, Abby, that's Clive Tuifua. Still going to Ifua. We play the ball back to Williams. Abby's there. This is Paya Til entering the game in the 15 jersey. And getting the penalty. Clubhouse looks like it's filling up. So with an eight-point lead already, they don't need the two. They want the six. Briggs onto Solomona. In the 22 jersey, this is Kolo, Koloma Matangi. Koloma Matangi plays it now. Fraser. Sasha Arelli on the out ball. Appeals for a late chop on the inside. Frazier. Solomona gets stopped. However, Abby's here now. They play out the back to Frazier. He gets crunched by a dubious left shoulder. However, no penalty. Abby, flat click across the top. It's cleaned up by the Tigers. It looks like Ponsonby's offside. Not too sure if they knew the kick was coming then. They were lined up to the left. They were lined up to the left. Looked like they were looking for a flat pass to put him through a hole. Abby played the kick. Northcote have the penalty. Hidemaya. The number 16, Sio Tafiti. The home side now in a good position. We've got a full set of six inside Ponsonby's half. That's a 16 to Fiti. Playing it back to Hedemeyer. Eddie Wata had an inside option there, however. Met strong by the defense. Ooh. North Code unlucky again. They seem to be getting a little bit of space on this left edge. However, Ponsonby just doing enough to scramble and keep him at bay. However, referee sent someone to the bench there. So it's a professional foul. The try goes begging as a uh, man gets taken off. Man gets taken off the ball. Hit a Mayak. 
Iriwata. You're not going to stop him from there. Fantastic shape from the Tigers. Iriwata throws a dummy and goes over. Takes him within four points. Kick to come. So Ponsonby with a man on the bench. The Tigers with a chance to really pile some points on in this next 10 minute period. They're off to a good start. Nice and easy for Nico Drudge. Straight over, hit a Meyer there. Great deception. Looks and points left. Catches the markers out. Iriwata, little skip out with the captain pushing into a hole. Four points. So Ponsonby now with a bit of gamesmanship. They know they've got a man on the bench for the next 10 minutes. The bin, I should say. So there'll be in no rush to take this. They'll just be wanting to get to half time. Boom, great run there. An even better tackle there from the 22. Kaloa Matangi. Hiramaya. This is Latu again, a second run this set. Malu goes deep, he sees the winger up in the line. This is Saja, Sasha Urale. Ponsonby now, they've got two men behind the ball. Those two men looking to link up. Faguna plays it back. To the centre, James Taumata in the number one jersey. Williams steps, cuts back. He's been a nuisance in the middle there. Testing out Latu, who had two carries in the last set. He'll be feeling a bit of fatigue in his legs. Frazier. He's got his eyes up. Ponsonby with a great passage of play. And they would, ooh, they were open on the left corner there. Whoever they go right, it's Abby. They've got room. Williams. I think he was anticipating a cutout ball there. However, it came straight to him. That's heart wrapped up by Frazier. Taumata drags him back. Hidemaya. Not too many eager options on his left. Has to go himself. Holloway. Left now through Reese Payne. North Coast send it down. This is Urale. Hands it off to Faguna. Williams with nowhere to go, straightens up, looking for holes. Manages to stay on his feet.
Abby takes one in. Kalua Matangi beats one. Finds his front. Ponson be in a good position. So Ponsonby, despite having a man on the bench, find himself in a great attacking position here. Little shot of the canteen there. I can smell those hot dogs from the other side of the park. Here come the ponies. Abby. Frazier's out the back. He straightens up, tries to go himself. Abby. It's number 15. Paya Tiu. Abby off his right foot. The ponies with 12 men attacking. Go to Frazier. He's got space. It's the number 11. Don's Talangi. Nothing fancy about that one. The old catch and pass. Frazier doing just enough there to hold up Hedemeyer. Put him in two minds. As soon as he plants his feet, he tips that ball on to a hard-running Don Talangi. It's a cold day and it's a wet day here at Birkenhead War Memorial. However, the grass is looking fantastic. As you can see, their little ride on mower. Someone's been doing their job this week. Unlucky Oos. Dion Frazier kisses the pole there. Six points to 12. Ponsonby Ponies find themselves in front. Despite having a man on the bench, They'll get him back at half time. North coat trying to cheeky little cheeky little ten meter grubber there. Taking it up nonchalantly, James Talmata. He plays it back. Abby picks that one up off the ground as Williams. Knocks on. That's not the end to the half they'll be looking for. In the last 30 seconds, they would have been hoping to just roll that one into touch, get them to the half. However, North Code unable to pack that scrum in time. The clock runs out. That'll take us to half time. North Code trailing to the visitors, Ponsonby Pony. 12 points to 6.
Welcome to Dadden Projects, where we make your interior fit-outs easy. From start to finish, we bring a wealth of experience to every project, and we love what we do, so please come and meet the team. We're the project management team. Our responsibility is to ensure a smooth running project from start to finish by having a clear understanding of our clients' expectations. We aim to do this by delivering a stress-free quality fit out on time. I'm saying I'm a quantity surveyor. My role is to understand your needs and tailor my pricing to suit your budget. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm one of the detailers here at Datum Projects. My role is to take the client's architectural drawings and convert them into shop drawings for our factory. Hi, my name's T. I'm the Health and Safety Manager for Datum Projects, and one of our core principles here is work safe to get you home safe. When you get on that field, you walk out with confidence, you know, with your shoulders held back, you wear your jersey with pride, you blow your whistle confidently. Everyone on the sideline knows exactly who you are. I'm Rochelle Tamarua. I am the Referees Development Officer at Auckland Rugby League. I deliver programs in our clubs, our workshops as well, to help develop upskill and nurture our referees in the minimal grades. Myself, I referee the top side, which is our Fox football. You'll, you'll see the passion that I have for not only rugby league, but for refereeing. Yeah, it's going good. He's doing a really good job. He's letting the game flow. The kids are responding really well. The biggest communication, believe it or not, is a whistle. I had my whistle right next to me in my handbag. It's always there, yeah. The louder and the more powerful you blow your whistle, the more respect that you get from not only the players, but the coaches and the spectators, because they know what's going on. Their spectators, their supporters, are, yeah, they're the, they're the heart of the club too. I get along really well with all the clubs. All 32 clubs in Auckland. <laughs> that's all my affiliation, so that's Auckland Rugby League. You know, we're not separate. We're not a referee and you're not just players. We come together and we work as one. Anyone can referee. Need a level of mental toughness and got to have the passion, obviously. We've got younger female that are joining and we've got our elders that are still refereeing the game for our kids and so we bring them together. I'm going to make sure that I carry on um, until I can't no more. It's my passion. This is my dream. Yeah, I'm living it right now. Mm. Full time. Welcome back. It's a miserable day here at Birkenhead War Memorial Reserve. However, I'm only speaking about the weather. Rugby league's been fantastic. In our second game for today, North Coast Tigers, Ponsonby Ponies. Two teams tied in second place. Playing chase the ace. Trying to keep in touch with Otara. Otara Scorpions, five out of five this year. North Coast and Ponsonby both tied on four wins. Along with Hibiscus Coast. 
Theon Frazier, what a way to start the half. He juggled it and lost it back. However, only to pick it up and lose it forward. So they finished the first half with a try. However, the Ponsonby Ponies now on their, on their try line. Looking to keep out the home team. This is Damon Abbey. It's a hard running Latu. He came on in the first half, made a big impact. As did this man, Jeremiah, acting half. They go right. Tamalu goes himself, almost goes all the way. Appeals for a penalty. And much like the ending to the first half, the Ponies will start the second half with a man in the bin. Kaloa Matangi penalised there for holding the man down. A professional foul in the referee's eyes. However, Ponsonby have showed they can play with 12 men. And they'll be tested again straight away. Abby managing the centre's man back inside. He's wrapped up by Williams. Draj. Onto Brown. He turns it back inside. The ball comes loose. The referees missed that one. However, he's got a call from the bunker. He thought it might have been a strip. However, the touchy and the Ponsonby Ponies jumper told him he saw a knock-on. Of course he did. Damon Abbey. Williams out the back. He looks to have knocked it back. However, he's given himself up. And it's been a horror start for Ponsonby. Straight from the kickoff. They knock the ball on and go. Followed by a man getting sent to the bin. And now a knock on from the scrum. They're up by six points. However, they're almost doing everything in their power to see the game drawn level. So here they go. It's a scrum to Northcote. Briggs is at A defender. He leads the line up. There's Houston Holloway looking right, but deciding to take it in. Hiramaya. Dummies one. Links up with Neho. He's got options left and right. He goes right to the captain. Houston Holloway. He thought about going again. He thought about going again, and then he thought against it. However, he almost accidentally finds himself on the other side of the try line and being penalised for a double movement. So he kicks that one into the car park. It's James Tolmata. Now it's the winger. Faunga. At midfield. Briggs goes right to Abbey. Tui Fua. From a pass from Abbey. Plays it back to Briggs. Only one at marker. Briggs sees half a little gap open up. And closes just as quickly. Solomona onto Frazier. Grubbers through. 
the fullback's there. He'll collect it. And he's met in a strong tackle there. Northcote now with a lot of work to do to get off their try line. They've got the back three there. Talakai. Runs hard and finds his front. Jeremiah. There's Jordan Hart. They go left. Williams sits in defense. However, he gets drawn in. Two on one. Oh. McCarthy unsure about the pass back inside. However, he gives it. Unfortunately, it's not able to be collected. But Northcote not scared to shift it close to their line and utilize that space. Don't forget, Ponsonby's got a man in the bin here. So there's definitely going to be gaps on the field. It's just a matter of where. The ball back now, this is Ponsonby. Briggs onto Frazier. Wow. The horror show continues for Ponsonby. James Talmata, he's had some great carries today. That's not one of them. This is Northcote with the ball on the 20 meter line now. Jeremiah. It's a ball back from Reese Payne. Brown tipping it on. Keep an eye on Reese Brown, the seven here. Jeremiah's ready to go. The try behind. I don't think they'll be taking the two. They get things going again. Mutsio Tofiti plays it back to Jeremiah. They were shaped up on the left. They had numbers swinging around. They were ready to go. However, they butcher the play the ball. Houston Holloway talking to the ref. He's not happy. He thinks it might have been a bit of interference from the markers. Ponsonby will walk to the scrum. Just trying to get through this 10 minute period here with a man in the bin. Short side, Williams. Strong fin. Briggs, Williams again, not the same Williams, they look the same, Abby tips on there, to Tui Fua, Northcote with a bit of momentum now, wants to be unable to get out of their end, Briggs, Tui Fua again, They'll be wanting to kick this ball long and far away from their try line. And they do just that through Abbey. Manages to drop the ball in behind the winger. But here he comes as Jordan Hart. Meant a strong tackle. Frazier leading the charge. Talakai standing in the tackle just a little bit off the mark called back to play the ball here we go 10 minutes gone in the first half uh, second half
Itawiti, strong run. Northcote looking for points. They need to draw level here. This is Holloway. Got Itawiti on the left. They go to Malu. Plays out the back. Brown. Brown still. Frazier with his back turn. Hit a Maya. He goes right. Links up with Malu. Tigers are in. Ponsonby doing the best they can, however. They're in sixes and sevens there. Off the back of that quick play the ball. Hit a Maya jumps right. Steps off his left. Fantastic support play there from Malu. Some fantastic haircuts there too for the Tigers. Bang. Steps off his right. Just catches the defense sliding off. and easy there for Nico Drudge adds the extras it's a tie game here Birkenhead Tangi is back now. Ponsonby with a full team. 13 v 13. And 12 versus 12 on the scoreboard. Talakai. Leaves both markers on the ground. Niho. Apologies, that's Tafiti in the 16 jersey. Hiramaya jumping right. Holloway. No markers again. Hiramaya senses that. Itawiti. Up the middle. The Tigers with their tails up. There's Kaiowa. He gets a quick play the ball. Malu. On to Brown. Grubbers through. They've got him behind. Picked up by Williams. He's still alive. Foot in touch. The Tigers are for the momentum here. Abby trying to go himself there. However, he didn't see his mate on the right lining up offside. But the referee did see him. Jeremiah setting something up. He goes to Kioa. Making a strong tackle. Jeremiah to Brown. The big cutout. Oh! Unlucky, he couldn't believe his luck there. Jordan Hart with a try on a platter. It goes begging. Ponsonby count their blessings there. 
However, it was touched in the process. So in the first instance, it's a knock-on from Ponsonby. Malu shows, goes himself. They look right again. Kiowa. Jeremiah, he's got Edowiti. He goes to Brown, rolls it along the ground. He run out of space. Jordan Hart again. Unlucky not to score moments earlier. He plays the ball. Jeremiah onto Edowiti. He straightens it up, plays it in front of the post. Jeremiah skipping across. He's got options. Holloway. Beats one, beats another one. Holloway gets low. Four points, baby. This is Tiger Country. Read the scoreboard. Fantastic try. He says, see you later to Dion Frazier there. They're loving that up in the clubhouse. captain leading the way Houston Holloway so this is Nico Draj he's been perfect with the boot today however yes he remains perfect Creeps out inside the left post here. So North Coat on top. This will be their second straight win, managing to beat uh, New Lynn. 46 18 last week. They seem to be riding that wave of momentum. Unless the ponies have anything to say about it. Damon Abbey to get us back underway. They've loaded up that left edge. Doesn't seem to be anyone on the other side. Bang. That's the answer they were looking for. Great kick there from Damon Abbey to sit it up. And an even better kick chase. I said moments before the kickoff, they looked to be loaded up on that left edge. And as you can see, it was a black and blue wall that met Sio Tafiti there. Frazier feeds it in. Abby juggles, straightens, put on his back. And he's dropped the ball. Great defense there from Iriwiti. Sorry, Iriwata. Twenty minutes left. The final quarter of the game. Northcote boot it downtown, looking for their speedsters. However, they can't beat Williams to the ball. Now he's in space. He takes on Jordan Hart, but he's brought down 10 meters out from his line. It's the try scorer. It's our football. Williams beats Brown. 
Skips out of another one. Strong run there before he's brought down by Reese Payne. And they get the penalty. It's a real arm wrestle at the moment. It's anyone's game. Frazier finds touch. Abby. Tui Fua. Kaloa Matangi. Plays it back to Jared Tapusoa off the bench. This is Frazier. On to James Taumata. Finds his winger. There's Samu Fauna. He scored the try, but he looks to be in a bit of brother. Great shape here from Ponsonby. Frazier able to square up and just keep that defense from sliding. James Talmata slicing through, linking up with his winger. Samu Faunga gets the ball down, but at what cost? He's clutching at the right hamstring there. Great trap there from Solomona. An absolute speed explosion from James Talmata to get through that gap. So Samu Faunga. He remains down in goal. Not too sure he's going to go into the wing here. I don't think he'll be playing on. Massive kick here for Dion Frazier to tie this game from the sideline. Off his right boot, it's coming around. Just under. Seems to be going over there, but Unlucky for Ponsonby. They trail by two points. <laughs> 16 minutes left here. Nico Drage get us back underway. Ball comes to Frazier. He takes that one cautiously. Tips on to Tafu, but he's met in a strong tackle. Houston Holloway done well to keep hold of that. It's the number six, Malu getting his shoulder in there. Kaloa Matangi. Ball comes off his chin. He's not happy. Looking for redemption. Back again off the bench. That's Taylor Daniels. We've got Reese Brown lined up on the left. Jeremiah goes the other way. Great defense there from Ponsonby's middles. Closing the door. Jeremiah looks to go himself. He passes right. Reese Brown. Dummies straight through. Some tired looking middles there for the ponies. Reese Brown finds them.
That was a penalty try, not too sure why. Might be able to see something on the replay there. Karamaya, Reese Brown, dummy, fantastic dummy. Right foot. Ooh. Someone flying in there with the boot, trying to kick the ball out. Unfortunately, uh, only thing they've kicked is poor old Reese Brown's poor old Reese Brown's ribs. He doesn't look to be too concerned though. Tigers on top. 22-16, kick to come. Draj. He's a hundred percent. Ah, so it's been a while since we've seen one of these. It wasn't a penalty try, that's an eight point try. So you get your shot at goal. And then you get a free shot right in front of the sticks. So, Nico Draj again with another two points. Tigers piling them on now. 26 16. Ponsonby with some work to do inside this final 15 minutes. So Ponsonby find themselves behind. They managed to pile on 68 points against Ellerslie last week in their win. 52 points the week before. 110 points in two weeks, wow. Different story here today for the Ponies. They've got a real challenge on their hands. They find themselves 10 points down with 12 minutes to go. The Tigers show no sign of stopping. Great tackle there from Williams. Hiramaya. Onto Iriwata. Beats one. Stopped eventually. Malu puts it in the corner. Well, James Talmut is appealing that it's gone out on the full. The linesman agrees. So we're coming back. So that was tackle five. It'll be a play the ball on halfway. Great run there from Taufu. Here's Tui Fua. Williams at acting half. Goes himself, goes right, goes left. Puts that big fend out. Puts it out again. He's a hard man to stop. They bring him down eventually. This is Tapu Soa. Looking at left now. Solomona back to Koloa Matangi. Finds a bit of space there for great bump off. They work right now. Abby squares up. Decides to settle it. Fifth tackle. Frazier. He's looking for his winger. It's a nice flat kick, however. They've been into it by Talakai. He beats two people. Say, see you later. There's a man chasing. It's James Tamata. He's not going to get there in time. He looks back. Finger to the sky. Slams the ball down. <laughs> Bit of argy bargy. But he pumps the chest. Great work from Talakai. 
Dropped his mouth guard on the way. Screening ear to ear. He looks back to the clubhouse before he puts that ball down. He says it's party time. Great game from Northcote today. Able to capitalise on any opportunities that they've come across. However, I'd love to see these two teams play in a couple of weeks' time. Ooh, Nico Draj, unlucky with that one. First miss of the day. It's 30 points to 16. The Tigers over the Ponies. This one, of course, will be seeing the Northcote Tigers move into second place. Ponsonby still inside the top four, though. Manadua Marlins, Panthers, Jaguars, they're all tied on four points. So a, there is a little bit of breathing room for the top four. However, this game's not over yet. Taylor Daniels. Jeremiah. Onto the number three, Alan Kitson. Eddie Watts are running strong as he has all day. Malu had his arm free for the offload there, but decided to hold it. The ball out there for the offload. Forgot to put it back in the holster because it's come out. Seven minutes left. Come the ponies off the back of the scrum. Briggs back on the field. He finds Tui Fua. That's a try scorer. Faunga. Apologies, that was Solomona playing the ball. Briggs not happy with that. He appeals to the ref. It's slowly starting to drop here for Ponsonby. And it's a sea of umbrellas and hoodies here at Birkenhead. I don't know if those are vape clouds or breath clouds. Taylor Daniels finding his front. Jeremiah onto Eddie Wata. Jeremiah goes right, comes back to the left. Kiowa leaving him on the ground. They're offside here, Ponsonby. Reese Brown goes himself. They head back towards the post. Jeremiah. Grubba goes himself, slams the ball down. It's party time here in Northcote. Really 
fantastic skill there. He's been dangerous since he came on here, Amaya. He sees the fullback drifting away there. Saw his opportunity. Nico Dreisch. 90 odd percent today. Just the one missed kick. 36 16. A lot of positives to take out of this for Northcote. watching this game from the comfort of your home today consider yourself lucky it's an icy one here today in Birkenhead Ponsonby goes short taken by Hidemaya he dances around still got three minutes on the clock Malu Talatu Stays on his feet. Eddie Wata running hard. As he has done all day. So Captain Houston Holloway. Back to Malu. He'll be looking to just roll this into touch. Wind the clock down. However, it sits up. Ponsonby now coming out of their backfield. They've got him jammed in the corner. They're squeezing up. Not a lot of space here for Ponsonby. They'll be looking to get to the post to open up their attacking options. Tom Matadi awarded the penalty. The Williams boys here for uh, on the side edge of Ponsonby look dangerous all game. Not too sure what happened there. They didn't seem to be up with the play. However, James Tomata was. He links up with Clive Tuifua and the Ponsonby Ponies. Managed to grab a little consolation try there. Not too sure what happened there. They seemed to catch him off guard. Frazier set up, they take the conversion quickly. 36-22. And Huda goes, that's game folks. Northcote into second place now, come out on top.
Northcote 36, possibly Ponies 22. Northcote managing to do the double here today. Party time in Northcote. Thank you for joining us. It's been a pleasure. I was